It was only when I ended up in jail talking to him that I became convinced that, yes, absolutely, this drug uh, had caused him to do what he did. He'd, um, he was off the drug uh, this time. He had been in jail for a while. At some point while he was in jail, uh, they put him back on an SSRI and he became suicidal and tried to kill himself in jail. Mm. I ended up interviewing both his parents afterwards who didn't know he was on an SSRI and might have had anything to do with his case. After all of this had happened, both of his parents, uh, you know, at one point or another, got treated with an SSRI by their doctor, and both had reactions like his. They had really? Not that they wanted to kill people, but they had clear personality reactions shifts. to the SSRI that were consistent with the kinds of things that happened to him. Wow. Okay? So, in the case, my hunch is um, that... Uh, the public defender he had, you know, they're not particularly in the business of winning a high profile case. They just want to make sure he isn't executed. He was in a state where you could have been executed for yeah. all this. So it's going to be a win for them if they could just get this past the jury uh, so that he got jailed for something like 300,000 years or whatever it is, <laughs> yeah, not yeah. actually executed. Okay. Um, and, uh, in the end, they didn't use my testimony or the report that I'd done on them saying, look, this man was not guilty. Okay. 